my two best friends were both really into art and one of them, her mum was an art teacher. So I was sort of as a teenager around people who were artists. I remember like a painting by numbers set when I was about 10 or 11. That was, uh, and I remember putting all the colours on the wrong numbers because I just sort of mixed it up a bit. And that's sort of quite an early memory of painting. And then, uh, yeah, I had the friends as a teenager, Ros and Stephanie, and we all went on to art college. Um, yeah, and that was the start of it, really. I went to the Slade and I was doing fine art, I was doing painting again. And I was really, really having a quite a difficult time in my final year, sort of sorting out my paintings, trying to sort of think what to do with them. And um, there was a print room at the Slade, but it was only for postgraduate students. And I used to look inside the print room and go, oh, that just looks fantastic in there. So one day, maybe in the... I think even maybe in the spring term in my final year, I went into the printmaking and said, oh, can I do some printmaking? And the head of printmaking was like, yeah, come in, of course you can do some printmaking. Actually, the printmaking tutor, the head of printmaking there, a fantastic man called Bartow de Santos, he sort of helped with my painting more than, at that time, the painting tutors had done because I started to... We started talking about some of the things that we were discovering in the prints and then that was feeding back into my painting and it really helped me sort my painting out as well. So in my final show then at Degree, I showed paintings and prints alongside each other. The very first print I made at the Slade was a copy, in fact two copies of two Picasso etchings and they were the first prints I ever made at, the, at, at Degree level. And then I actually found that quite a useful way to discover technique so I made drawings which weren't exact copies but uh, but, but became copies of uh, two Picasso etchings. He's always been really big particularly the the way in which he sort of changes and alters his prints I really really like. Um, so Bartow de Santos the tutor that was at the Slade he was very instrumental and he was somebody who really works his plates very hard sort of etching really heavy bite really long bites in the acid, very dark, very textured, really liked that. And then when I started working in colour, when I was doing my MA in printmaking, I'd started doing lithography and as a painter I wanted to get into using colour. Up to that point I'd only ever printed in black and white. And uh, two really, really important people that I looked at then were Vuillard and Bonnard, two French late uh, 19th century um, artists who they did a lot of um, publicity posters, like Toulouse-Lautrec uh, in that, that period in France. And there were many, many layers of colour in these lithographs. And um, I particularly remember looking at the Braque lithographs and really enjoying the way in which he, he sort of hid one colour with another, but you saw a little bit of the colour coming through. And that was really, really important for me. I really understood that as a painter. And uh, that really got me going as well.